Hey folks, I got a pretty quick, easy little uh, nifty project for you today. I wanted to make a belt loop for uh, my hatchet, my tomahawk, stuff like that. Um, I wanted it to be pretty simple, so I think I came up with a pretty simple design. I've already done a little bit of prep. I've done everything that's rel it's relatively easy, so I just didn't feel it was too necessary to uh, waste your time with those steps. I've got two strips of leather here. This one is eight inches. This one, I think you can go ahead and just cut eight inches long. This is gonna be the belt loop, and that will fit most belts. That gives you a pretty big healthy loop, okay? And this guy is pretty long. We're gonna trim it down here in just a minute, but both of these strips I cut the same width as this little metal ruler just to keep things simple. Set that ruler down, squared things up, zipped it with a roller cutter. Easy as that. So nothing scientific there. I left this long because we're gonna to have to size things up a little bit. So what I am gonna do, I'm gonna use my little self-healing mat here and use some of the registration marks to square up one end here at least. circle cutter makes quick work of it. Now, the reason I left this long, this is something you want to do as well, is we need to gauge this to fit whatever cutting device we're putting in there. So, we're just going to gauge it to the handle, wrap it around. I think I'm going to cut mine right here at the edge of the handle. So I'm just going to put me a little little mark right there with a knife, pencil, whatever you want to use. That's going to assure that we have plenty. Now we'll find our little mark, which is right here. I'm going to square everything up on these registration marks again. And then we're just going to cut this guy. That looks good. Come in with my circle cutter again. Get right down the spine of that ruler. And there we go. All right, so that is the loop for our axe cut. Now, I did a little bit of pre-prep on this guy. This is going to be our belt loop. What's going to hold this guy together are these Chicago screws, okay? Uh, they're pretty easy to obtain. I got mine, I think, from Tractor Supply in the uh, saddle section. But I did a little pre-prep on this, and all I did was I marked the halfway point of that strip which the length of the ruler that was right at 1.5 centimeters and then I gauged where I wanted my Chicago screws to be and then I just took that screw and I pushed on it to put a little indention in there to show me where to punch so then I came in with my leather punch punched those two holes and then I folded everything over lined it up and then punched my other two holes it's a good, easy, quick way to get everything nice and lined up. Not hard to do, actually quite simple. Uh, I just eyeballed it. I did put my center mark there just so I had a good idea of where center was. And then I just eyeballed where I wanted those screws to be. So you do want to make sure that your screws are setting in a place where they'll work on your belt loop. So I'm going to have mine down here in the bottom of this loop. So you want to make sure that you're not going to be overhanging on this or anything like this. You want it, you know, at least in the center, or slightly off center. Oh, and I'm going to lay my loop down here, my belt loop, on top of the axe loop. And then eyeball it again, get that lined up. Then I'm going to come in with my Chicago screw, push that down into the hole. You can see that gives us some nice little registration marks to know where to punch. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just use the punch that's the proper size for the Chicago screws. But we're just going to punch both of these holes right on those marks. There we go. Alright, so now I'm going to kind of dry fit things a little bit. So what I'm going to do, we're just going to set 
our belt loop right on top of our hatchet loop. I'm going to go ahead and stick the back side of these Chicago through screws through our holes. And I'm just going to flip that over. Put in our front sides. Right now we're just kind of dry fitting things. Gonna push that in a little bit. Now we're going to bring in whatever it is we want in this. Get it lined up right where we want it to sit. That looks pretty good. I want it to set right up towards the top. We've got plenty of room for our snaps. So now again, I'm just going to use this Chicago screw to show me where put my snap and again I'm just eyeballing it. Alright I'm going to come in with that same punch punch this out there we go so that's where one part of our uh, snap will go now I'm just going to get this guy in place one more time just eyeball lining it up And I'm going to come in and push with my Chicago screw one more time to get a registration mark on my other side. Then we'll punch that and then we know where the back side of our snap goes. Okay, so now we're going to install our snaps. Make sure that you have your appropriate pieces. I'm going to have my snap be on this side. So, we need to make sure it's going through that way. Then this piece sets right on top. This is the little cup shape. This all sets down into this little cup. Put the little center pin in there. Get a hammer. And set that snap. Just give it a good look and make sure that the little collar in there is spread out. So now we're going to do the same thing on this side. This side gets a little, what looks like a stove pipe almost, and the other little cup. Set all this in whatever that is. Set our little mandrel down on there. knock that one into place there we go so now that should snap and it does all right set this hammer out of the way so now our moment of truth set my hatchet in there snap it seat it down into place there we go good fit easy to get out the upside of having a snap on here, a lot of hatchets, axes, whatever you're using, a lot of times they'll have a little palm swell down here. And uh, if you make a band that's wide enough for this swell, a lot of times you don't have good retention by the time it gets up to the top. So the upside of the snap is you can make a much tighter band to hold it in place. And that snap is quote heavy duty so it's nice and nice and tight nice and in place this is going to sit nice and high up on my side wow all right so of course you can adapt this thing to fit whatever you specifically have it's just a matter of changing the length of this front band a little bit it's not hard to do at all um, there's no sewing involved because we use the chicago screws and on the front we've got that nice snap which definitely makes things a lot better in terms of holding so nice quick little project 
that's all there is to it. Now that it's all together, we can really tighten down those uh, Chicago screws if you want. You can definitely apply some contact cement in here, totally up to you. But that's all there is to it. Quick and easy. Treat your leather with whatever leather treatment you want to use. I like to use golden mink. And then, good to go. Easy breezy.